parse fractures are a very common injury that occurs in the spine. We did a video a while back on pars injuries and pars fractures in young athletes and maybe some, some things that could be done to prevent a pars injury. In this video, I want to talk about what happens to patients with a pars fracture over time. So let's talk a little bit about what a pars is. The pars is a part of the spine and it's a part of the back of the spine. So in the front you have your vertebral body and your disc and in the back you have the pars and then the facet joints and then the next pars level. So if a pars injury occurs it disconnects the facets and um, basically weakens the motion segment at that level. L5 is the most common level to have a pars fracture or pars defect, but it, it can occur at L4 and L3 and even up higher. When a patient has the typical scenario is a patient would suffer a pars injury when they were 13 or 15 or 17, maybe very active playing sports or for some other reason. And then from then on, the disc at the same level is subject to more strain than it otherwise would be. And that level is a little bit prone to degenerative injury. Uh, oftentimes what will happen is the disc will uh, become thinner or not as tall. The um, vertebral body will slip forward some. And then the nerve associated with that can get pinched. So patients will come oftentimes in their 30s and 40s that have had a PARS injury when they were a teenager and now they're having maybe some more back pain but also the leg pain. Uh, options for treatment would be physical therapy, chiropractic care, and injections to help uh, especially decrease the inflammation around the nerve that's affected. Surgical management is very effective and what I like to do is an anterior lumbar fusion followed by posterior screws. Uh, so we go in the front and we put in that big anterior lumbar inner body fusion cage and it really opens up the disc space and restores the disc height. And then we go in the back and we put screws in. If there's a bad slip, we can use the screws in the back to pull the spine back into alignment. And that has worked really well and we've done many of those uh, cases for patients with good success and I think that's been a wonderful way to treat them. So for patients with PARS injuries, I would say to live your life normally, to be healthy and be active, most patients do very, very well for many, many years. For those patients that are having radiating leg pain and whose symptoms are persistent, uh, surgical intervention can be very helpful.